say hey. Hey, my geekers. How y'all doing gang? out there? <laughs> anyway, I'm Lainey. I'm Jay. And we are Geek by Heart, and we are coming back with another episode of Revalue. Wait, what are we going to be doing today? We're going to be going back in time. Back. And we're going to be coming back in the future. What we did, we watched, like, I think it was... The Batman dark return, the dark night, the Baron, dark night. Baron return, returns, and then, and the, then Batman. the Batman. So, we're just gonna go, you know, individually of what these movies are about until we reach the <laughs> Batman. All right, so, uh, nah, I think this is the worst. Uh, nah, hell no, nope, this is not the worst. It, to me, I think it's the worst. It's, it's just this is not the worst. No, this is. I, I don't know. I, I think the acting and everything for this one just well, and everything just looked ridiculous. Even with True. the penguin in it, it was it, it was sloppy. It was very sloppy to me. It was you know what I mean. I, I, really? Yeah, it was to me. I, I didn't like it. Um, the penguin itself. The I didn't see the slap going on his mouth. Nah, you know, and it's so funny. Back then, you know, when um, the set of the older Batman came out, I was excited because, mm -hmm. you know, it's the Batman. You know what I mean? And you see, like the, the the Joker, and you see the Penguin and everything. But there wasn't much action as to what the real Batman was about. I mean, you know I, mean? I coming from this day and age right now. See, it's really hard to evaluate this from a personal perspective because, like, when this came out. This was totally different than the Batman series of the 60s, right? Mm. So I think because of that, the Tim Burton Batman and um, Batman Returns specifically, mm -hmm. because it was such a departure, I appreciated that. But now looking back on it, like kind of reevaluating what mm. we're doing, yeah. oh my God, it wasn't, I mean, listen, I do not think it was the worst. There's no way in hell that Batman what? Return was worse than Batman Forever or Batman and Robin. No way, no how. And that's the However, thing. However, no, because I think Batman, Batman Forever, what was it with that with um with Jim Carrey? Right? I don't give a shit. I, I get think to, mix to up me, all Jim time, Carrey kind of brought they things were the a little horrible. bit mixed to me to it. But you know, even though some of the aesthetics of it was a bit off, I, I think this. This, but yeah, I think it was cheesy to me. It, it was. Um, yeah. um, I do like, like for instance, I do like the interpretations of Penguin mm. being not as spot on like a penguin, mm. kind of what they did in Gotham, kind of what they did in the Batman. Mm -hmm. So like, Danny DeVito's Penguin was just like really, but like I said, I just don't think it's the worst. I think it was. Don't think it's the worst. Yeah, it was boring to me. I mean, the the cat. Well, Michelle Pfeiffer, she. She was okay too, but mm. again, I don't think she, I do not think it was worse. Yeah, well, to me, it was. Um, just so agree I to so. disagree. Well, hey, it is what it is. Yes. Yep. What? What? The dark was really good. Still, what? To me, I think this was the almost best, the best. Fifteen years later, fourteen best. years later, yeah. it still holds up. Yeah. Like I mean, no. It still holds I, up. I think Heat Leisure did a dominated, fantastic job. Dominated. As the, I mean, this reimagine of the Batman was 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 crazy. just great. You know what I mean? And even up to this day, it still has that thing about it that keeps you in grit. You know what I mean? Okay, I appreciated seeing the Playboy come to life. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, that I felt that Tim Burton's Batman or the Batman and Robin or Batman Forever. No, I take that back. Those mm. two, you kind of saw Playboy mm. come to life. But I really appreciated Christopher Nolan's um, version of the Batman, and especially the Dark Knight. I thought it was by far, and I think I know I'm not the only one of the strongest of the three of the Nolan films of yeah, Batman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, like you said, Heath Ledger still holds up as one of the best comic book villain interpretations ever put on film, ever put on anything, mm -hmm. okay? You never feel the runtime at all. Mm -hmm. The score is amazing, mm -hmm. amazing, amazing, amazing. And I cannot wait actually until The Batman comes on HBO because I want to compare the two. I yeah. really want to see which one is the better of the two because I think that those two are top. Well, for me, Dark Knight, it is 
one of the most phenomenal jobs that uh, Christopher Nolan came, uh, you know, with the whole Batman trilogy. Mm. It was very, it was very smart in terms of a, 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 a character from DC that is associated with a dark type of um, atmosphere. The character of Heath Ledger, he did a wonderful job mm -hmm. as the Joker because the Joker is, is never to be messed with and he is... And he embodied that. Oh my God. Oh my God, perfectly. He, he killed it, man. Perfectly. He killed it. Of course, you have Two-Face that was in it. Yeah, for me, I think Heath Ledger brought that, 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 that feeling of the Joker mm -hmm. as a really... Um, bad villain that is one of Batman's arch nemesis. Mm -hmm. This movie had so much grip in it mm -hmm. that you know, I, for the entire time, I, I was like a big fan of the Joker. Mm. I was never. It, it's like my 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 geekiness of the Batman was just no longer around. It was the fact that the Joker Heath Ledger brought something to the table yep. that had me like wow you know he was like you phenomenal. just did not when you first you know saw it, you did not know what he was gonna do next yo, and he just kept was, topping himself yo it was with the crazy it, it was very smart yes very, very smart. smart yeah so yep so yep awesome it holds good finally Finally, 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 <laughs> this is the new Batman right now. This is this is it. All right, all those people that was talking about um, Patterson being you, you yeah, being that uh, you what, what's that what's that uh, the vampire movie? Uh, Edward Cullen Twilight. Yeah, whatever. Be one of them. Yeah, they were all they were all up on his ass. They were like, oh yeah, nah, this dude is the Batman. This is the movie. For real, for real, for real. Oh, you want to say why? Listen, this movie had every single thing that I hoped for. <laughs> the way you just said Every that. single thing that I hoped for. Beautifully shot. And mark you, I was, uh, I am, no, 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 I'm not was. I am a big fan of Matt Reeves. Matt Reeves, the director, and if you know me, I am also a big fan of Matthew Vaughn. Those two directors, trust me, Matthew Vaughn and Matt Reeves, don't sleep on those two dudes, I'm telling you. I appreciate this movie because, first of all, you saw a different type of Batman than you've seen before. You saw a different type of Batman that you haven't seen before. Like, you've seen the older Batman, the wiser Batman, the Playboy Batman. Now mm. you kind of see the emo Batman. Mm. I like that, actually, number one. Number two, I felt like out of all of the films, this was the most grounded in reality mm -hmm. that I as a person mm -hmm. could understand and like, yo, this shit could really happen in mm -hmm. the real yeah. world. Yeah. Like even Nolan's Dark Knight sprinkled, and we're not gonna talk about the other ones, I'm just gonna talk about Nolan's because we just talked, I mean, um, Dark Knight, could we talk just about that? Mm -hmm. um, but even Nolan's Dark Knight still sprinkled with surrealism right but i felt like for the most part the batman stuck to a grounded yeah. approach yeah. to batman that goes back to his detective roots full body mm -hmm. even more than dark knight did you know what i'm saying and just like it was really cool to watch the construction of how you see the Gotham through Matt Reeves' eyes, mm -hmm. how you see the glow, the glow up, the grow up of Penguin, how the possibility of what Catwoman can bring even in the future. Okay, mm -hmm. now you already have the Riddler as your main antagonist. Mm -hmm. You now introduce the Joker at the end. So like you he did it in such a way that was so flawlessly put together yeah. like i have seen other people talk about it and they kind of beasted on it listen to east their own i personally thought that he brought a timeless um thoughtful embodiment mm. of all of them together, together. Yeah. to serve and play off of each other and in three hours I barely felt it. I felt it a little bit. I'm gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. And I'll sit through all the rings real quick, extended version, and be fine with it. But mm -hmm. I did feel it a little fit, bit. Fit, fit, fit that three I did a little she, bit. Listen, but can we explain how beautiful this film was shot? 
Oh yeah. This film was one of the most beautiful films I've ever seen. And it's so seen. funny because it's very I mean, a dark, dark there was, type of film. I mean, there was the, the oranges and the the the, the gritty colors. The, the gritty color. Yo, mm -hmm. th there was a scene that one of my favorite scene was when he cut himself off from the rope just to sacrifice himself to save some people. Mm -hmm. And he had the, the flare. And yes, okay, there was yep, an yep. overhead shot yep. of him walking with the people behind. I'm like, oh, that, I would love to have that poster on our wall. Just that image. The movie just brought so much life into DC that it's some, I, I kind of compare it with the Joker because had that agreed, it had agreed, that, agreed, agreed, that agreed, 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 agreed. Of, of that same type of um like like that same environment. You so yeah. to speak, you know yeah. what I mean? So you can see them yeah, them being in a shared yeah, universe. Exactly. The problem with DC, they can't mm. get their shit together because at they'll put out the Batman, mm. right? But then they'll put out the rest of what you're talking about. And then unless you have which I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda hoping that somehow this happens because if this happens, mm -hmm. that would be the shit. But you kind of have two distinct branch lines. And if you want to count the Joker, three distinct branch lines mm -hmm. of these characters. Mm -hmm. Now you can bring that together, at least the Batman, you can bring that together because there's no way mm -hmm. that the Batman's not getting a sequel. No way, shape, yeah, or form. It's so therefore, if you were somehow to be able to put um, Robert Pattinson's The Batman into the Flash movie somehow. It would be. And link that together mm. and then have Matt Reeves take over. Oh my God. Listen, you know, and please guys. Listen. I hope you guys listen. go to watch it. And I hope, you know. I as, hope you've been usual, already watched no, As it. usual, please just state your comments in the comment section because we were excited to watch. I hope you guys did. What did you appreciate about it? Did you go to sleep thinking about how many times you heard the damn Batman theme song? That was the one thing I did not oh, like. I loved it. Nah, man. Every damn time that you could possibly think it. of, I you heard it. the Batman theme song. It was. It. it got to be annoying. Loved it. Oh, okay. Oh, one last thing. <laughs> the Batmobile. Oh, that shit was fire. When that, that shit was fire. When even, even when as like a, just a, that a baby Batmobile. Batmobile started, where the Joker was, you know. When they shot no, it wasn't. That. It was the penguin. It was the penguin. But the, yeah, not the Joker. Mm -hmm. the, the penguin. penguin. Sorry, <laughs> and the penguin. Uh, they were there at the warehouse and whatever, and um, the car started. Mm -hmm. I was I was nodding all over everyone in the stood in in the cinema. I was like, yeah, okay, okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> I get with you anyway. Yeah. With that being said, listen, I do think if they were to be able to do these kind of movies, mm -hmm. they would give MCU a run for their money for their money. money. Yep. Don't think about trying to do tent poles. Think about doing grounded movies. Superhero movies. Okay. Yep. That serve character driven stories first mm -hmm. and action and temple second. Mm-hmm. You will be able beautifully shot to too. hold your own with Marvel. Yeah. That's just me. Let us know in the comments. Do you agree? Do you agree? Disagree? How do you feel about the Batman? Yep. How do you feel about the Dark Knight? How do you feel about Batman Returns? How do you feel about any of the ones that we didn't talk about? Mm -hmm. Because we can talk about those later. Yeah, did you like what you saw? Comment below. What did you think about the Batman? Did you understand what we were talking about? Did you agree with what we were talking mm -hmm. about? Did you disagree with what we were talking about? Let us know. All right. Let us know. What did you think about the Dark Knight? What did you think about the Batman Returns? We didn't talk about a lot of different ones. For a reason, we will get to yep. those later. We want to talk about these three now. Yep. All right. If you haven't already, subscribe. Please all right. Do. Hit that notification hit bell that so button. you can help us grow. Yep. All right. Hit us up on Instagram at Geek by Heart, Twitter Geek by Heart. Links are down below. And look at some of our videos. Like Stay with us for a while. There. All right. I'm there and there. I'm Jay. <laughs> You're nutting. I'm Lady. <laughs> Peace. See you in the next video.